Hey yeah. guys, it's me, Daniel. Today I'm with the Bible you want to join. Today's passage comes from Exodus chapter 21, the laws about slaves. Now these are the rules that you shall set before them. When you buy a Hebrew slave, he shall serve six years, and the seventh year he shall go free for nothing. And, and if he comes single, he shall go up single. And if he comes unmarried, then his wife shall go out with him. If his master gives him a wife and she bears him sons or daughters, and the wife and her children shall be his masters, and he shall go out alone. Well, the slave plainly says, I love my master, my wife, and my children. I will not go out free. Then his master shall bring him to God, and he shall bring him to the door of the post. Then his master shall bore through his ear with an awl, and he shall be his slave forever. When a, male, when a man sells his daughter as a slave, she shall not go out as male slaves do. If she does not believe her master, then who has a designator for himself shall let her be redeemed. She, He has no right to sell her to a foreign people since he has broken faith with her. If he designates her for his son, then he shall deal with her as a daughter. But if he takes another wife to himself, he shall not diminish her food, her clothing, or her martial rights. And if he does not do these things for her, she shall go for nothing without payment or money. Whoever restricts the man that he dies shall be put to death, but if he does not lie and wait for him, then God will let him fall into his hands, and I will appoint for you a place that he may flee. If a man willfully attacks another to kill him by cunning, you shall take him away from my altar that he may die. Whoever strikes his mo father and mother shall be put to death. Whoever steals a man and sells him, and anyone found in possession of him shall be put to death. Whoever curses her father and mother shall be put to death. Men who quarrel with one and strikes the other with a stone or a fist, and the man does not die, but takes to his bed, then the man who rises again who walks outdoors with the staff, but who shook him shall be clear, and only he shall pay for his loss of time, and he or she have thoroughly healed. When a man strikes a slave, male or female, with a rod, and the slave dies under his hand, he shall be avenged. Let the slave survive a day or two not to be avenged. He is not to be avenged, for the slave is his money. And men strive together and hit a pregnant woman that her children come out, but, but there is no harm. The one who hit her shall be surely fine, for the woman's husband shall oppose on him, but he, he shall pay the judges determined. But if there is harm, then he shall pay life for a life, eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth, hand for a hand, or foot for a foot, burn for a burn, wound for a wound, or stripe for a stripe. If a man destroys the eye of his slave, male or female, and he destroys it, he shall let the slave go free because of his eye. If he knocks out a tooth of a slave, male or female, he shall let the slave go be free because of the tooth. When the ox gores a man or a woman to death, the ox shall be stoned, and his flesh shall not be eaten. But the owner of ox shall not be liable. If the ox is accustomed to gore the past, and its owner has been mourned, but he has not kept it in, and it kills a man or a woman, the ox shall be stoned, and its owner also will be put to death. If a ransom is imposed on him, then he shall be given a redemption on his life, whatever is imposed on him. If it gores a man's sons and daughters, he shall be dealt with according to the same rule. If an ox gores a slave, male or female, then the owner shall give to their master thirty shekels of silver, and the ox shall be stoned. Laws about restitution. When a man opens a pit, or a man digs a pit, or does not cover it, or an ox or a donkey falls into it, the owner of a pit shall make a restoration. He shall give money to its owner, and the dead beast shall be his. But if one man... One man's ox butts another so that it dies, and they shall sell the live ox and share its price, and the dead beast they shall also share. Or if it's known that the ox has a custom to gore in the past, and its owner has not kept it, and he shall repay ox for ox, and the dead beast shall be his. So that's Exodus chapter 21. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe, and then get a bubble. Bye!